Boaters are looking forward to the days ahead. It's the opening day of boating season. A reminder, though, for you to wear a life jacket while you're out on the water. You may want to delay maybe a boating day for a little bit because we saw a mix of rain and sunshine today. We spotted the shower in Federal Way around 730 this evening. There was quite a downpour earlier today around Seattle and the metropolitan area too. So pockets of rain, <laughs> pockets of sunshine. It can't decide what it wants today. No, it's spring. Yeah, <laughs> it's just unpredictable weather. And you know what, what we saw today, a little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine. We're gonna hang on to that formula for a few days and then we are on tap for what I'm going to dub boating weather by the end of the week. We're not there quite yet though. Uh, let's take a uh, big picture look at what we're expecting these next few days first. So uh, it's kind of a mess over the Pacific Northwest. We have a lot going on and so that does keep light rain chances in the forecast for the next few days. It's not going to be anything major. It's not going to be anything widespread, but we definitely could squeeze out a few sprinkles. Uh, this is into Monday evening. Those are going to be our highest chances for rain these next few days. Then after that, we're going to taper off a tiny bit. So uh, as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday and the, the end of the week, we're really going to be clearing out. We're on tap for a very warm and sunny end of the week. Beginning of the week, not so much. Right now, live look at SeaTac. It's 52 degrees out there. We have dried out a tiny bit, but yeah, we did pick up some rain today. Everett picked up uh, 18 hundredths of an inch of rain, a little bit more rain over the Olympic Peninsula, but really overall not too drastic as far as those rain totals are concerned. Satellite and radar showing some of that lingering light rain around western Washington. It's nothing that's really Really going to be impactful. It's just the couple raindrops that we're squeezing out around western Washington as we head into this Saturday evening. Today, SeaTac did jump up to 62 degrees. Normal for this time of year, 64 degrees. So we're actually not too far off from normal. Overnight low, that morning low that we woke up to 47 degrees, that is perfectly on track with normal. Heading into tomorrow, we're going to see a couple raindrops possible, but uh, temperatures a little bit cooler, pretty close though to what we felt today. So Everett, you look to jump up to that 60 degree mark in those evening hours. For Seattle, we'll see mostly dry conditions with low 60s expected once again. Down around South Sound, a touch cooler will be in the 50s with a little bit of cloud coverage hanging out. And we could still see a couple sprinkles into tomorrow. So as of this evening, a couple raindrops are possible for your Saturday night. As we progress into Sunday morning, looks like a few showers into the foothills, maybe up to the north. Uh, then by Sunday afternoon, same thing, a couple sprinkles getting squeezed out, nothing too major. By Monday morning, we're mostly dry, but then Monday evening, that's our highest chance for rain. It's really just in the foothills though. Uh, as we progress into Tuesday, a couple showers, but we're tapering off. Then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, look at that. We are warming up into the mid 70s with lots of sunshine in store. Let's talk about your forecast, especially as we head into the work week. We have some great news for the end of the week. We're <laughs> all looking forward to a lot more sunshine and we're talking like summer like temperatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is going to feel more like summer by the end of the week <laughs> than spring. Today is spring. Tomorrow will be spring. Even into Tuesday will be spring. And then Mother Nature says, OK, summer, here we go. <laughs> so that's going to be the big change by the end of the week is those summer like conditions. But for now, we do still have a few very slight chances for rain. Nothing major, but satellite and radar are showing a little bit of moisture moving through. None of this is heavy. This is light rain. It's that heavy mist, we could say, uh, across western Washington right now. Uh, live look outside right now, currently sitting at 53 degrees in Seattle. We did jump up to 62 degrees for today. Normal is 65 for this time of year. So we're a little bit cooler than normal, but really right on track with average for this time of year. But in the next couple of days, we are going to be adding on 20 to even 25 degrees. So it's going to be much warmer by the end of the week. Overnight tonight, we're on on top from really mild night overnight lows dropping to around the mid 40s. We could squeeze out a few raindrops, but nothing major for us into tomorrow. Uh, we'll see some nice clearing for our morning hours, but some areas have some chances for rain. Let's break that down uh, overnight tonight. Uh, we have this low that's over Oregon's coast right now, but watch what it does through tomorrow. It kicks up and it brings a little bit of moisture into Western Washington, so it won't do too much for us 
us, but we do have the potential for some scattered showers. Overnight tonight, you may hear a couple raindrops, a stray shower or two, nothing major. Highest chances for rain are going to be tomorrow in our afternoon, our PM hours. It's going to be for the Cascades and into the foothills with the possibility of a stray shower creeping over into Puget Sound. Then come Tuesday morning, that low is going to continue its trek east. So same thing, rain stays east of the Cascades, but maybe a stray shower creeping in on Tuesday. But overall, Tuesday is going to be a nice day. Then come Wednesday, we are on tap for a dry period. Temperatures will be warming up through that time frame as well. For tomorrow, we're talking low to mid to upper 60s, pretty close to what we felt today as far as temperatures are concerned with those mostly sunny skies and those temperatures warming into the mid 60s. But then the warm up begins by Wednesday. We're in the upper 60s. Thursday, we're in the low 70s. Friday, it's mid 70s. And then we have 80s on tap by next weekend. So what? yes, Chris, happy Mother's Day. We're going to uh, be heating up to the 80s.